Hey guys, it's Rob from Mr. Homeowner. Today, we're gonna smoke some beef tallow and then we're gonna use it to grill up some steaks. Uh, we're gonna use the, um, the griddle in a little while to do that, well, tomorrow, really. But for you, it's not gonna be very long at all. So first we're gonna do, I ordered this off Amazon. I saw Jeremy from uh, Mad Scientist uh, use this brand. It was easy enough to find. Um, it was like 30 bucks though for this uh, 42 ounce. Uh, you know, two pounds, 10 ounces. But um, yeah, give it a shot. I haven't tried cooking with tallow yet, so we'll see, if, we'll see what happens. But anyway, we wanna add a nice smoky flavor to it. Uh, I'm gonna use some, uh, what am I using, pecan. So I already have, I already have the acorn up to about 250. Let's get this going, all right? Some nice chunks of pecan right in there. And because we're going uh, indirect, pop that guy in. Go back with this. All right, now, I'm gonna put some in this little tin. And it does say, do not refill with hot oil. So do not do that. Ooh, a little fly got in there already. Any more? So what I'll do is I'll put this in a uh, mason jar. <laughs> All right. Let that go there. Let this go a little while. Uh, probably let it go two or three hours. I'm gonna check on it in an hour or so, make sure it's doing all right. Keep the temps around 250, 275. The smell that wood has already started to catch. So let this go. It's gonna be dark when I come to check it. Um, so, oh, bear with me, we'll be right back. All right, I can smell that pecan wood. It's been two hours, a little over two hours, maybe two hours, 15 minutes or so. And I think I'm just gonna pull it off. Shut it down, save that jealous devil for another time. All right, now we're ready to uh, sear it from steaks tomorrow. So I'll see you, see you in a minute. Hey, so we're back. I got the, uh, the smoked beef tallow. We did that over pecan. We got two fillets here. I think what I'm gonna do, do a taste test. Let's do one of these, beef tallow right here. Do the second one with regular olive oil, right here. Let's see how it goes. So I've got the, uh, the beef tallow all melted up over here. I've got uh, two hot zones, both are on high. This guy's about medium low, and this is off over here. But as you know, it's, it's gonna be a little warm over here anyway. So let's go ahead and get these on, and now uh, we'll get going. All right, let's go ahead and put the beef tallow one on this side. So what I want to do, take some of this. All right, and the next one, Doing it as I normally would. Put a little oil down. Put 
I'm gonna press down, make sure everything's got good contact. Look at this a few minutes, and we'll check on the sear. As they have gone about five minutes so far, let's see how they're looking. It's looking pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and flip. Go to a new spot on the griddle where it's nice and hot. You know what, with this one, I'm gonna give it a, one more tallow here. that about five minutes see where we're at okay so i did just check them a couple minutes ago they're about 108 now they're looking about 120 or so i turned it down to medium 116 that again 114 115 yeah so now we have it down medium medium low we'll let them sit here till they're about 125 or so we'll pull them off all right that one I got a skinny spot looks like. This one's right at 126. This one depends on where I go. 122, 123. Yeah, I'm gonna cut these off. Yikes. All right, so the tower one is on this side here. All right, I'll let them rest about five, 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. Hey, I'm excited to try these. Let's start cutting in and see what they look like. Oh. All right, first off, this is the regular one. And again, we just use salt and pepper. Good. This so might, might have been a little over medium, or about medium instead of medium rare. But this looks pretty good. All right, here's the tallow one. Same thing. I'm not expecting that they're going to cook differently. But. over there. Super juicy. Get one more out of it here. All right, let's go for the taste test. All right, let's go for the taste test on the regular first. Take one from the middle here. Pretty good. Nice. Let's go for one in the tallow. I think it did have more of like a buttery taste. Hold on. I don't know if it's just my head, but I think this one, the tallow one, tastes better. One other thing that I, I told you I got this idea from Jeremy for Mad Scientist. He also did a little drip. Got soaked in a minute. So it was pretty easy. You just get that big thing from uh, Amazon or actually a lot of probably farms and stuff. You have farms around you. 
Uh, they sell, I know there's one near us that sells it. I'm gonna try theirs. Um, you can smoke it, add a little bit of, you know, uh, wood flavor to it. Uh, in our case, we use pecan. Did that for, I think we did a little over two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, if you don't have a griddle, just use a uh, cast iron pan over some charcoal, you know, get them nice and, nice and hot, nice sear on them. And then um, do both sides real nice and then uh, just bring them over to a lower heat to finish them off. So now I gotta taste it with a little bit of that drizzled over. Hold on. Time out. Well, I definitely like these better. It's not a huge difference though. Those taste really good though. I'm going to do another one of the regular. It, it, there is something about this one. For sure. But, so, it didn't take long for me to, I mean, it took two and a half hours to smoke the, uh, the tallow, but now I have this, I hardly use any of it. I still have most of the stuff that's in that can. So I could put this, you know, cover it up, put it in a, maybe like a mason jar. Um, lots of people just keep it on the counter, in the pantry, and keep it in the fridge. It last longer in the fridge. Yeah, you guys try it. Let me know what you think. They look about the same, but they, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know why they would look any different. But yeah, they look, they look about the same. They, uh, there's, there's something that kicks it up a notch. It does. Um, this is my first time trying any kind of beef tallow along with stuff, but yeah, it, it definitely gives it something. Almost lost that one trying to not touch my glove with my mouth. But yeah, um, there's a link to that beef tallow down below if you want to try that one. Um, might be cheaper though, as I said, might be cheaper like a local farm if you have one around you, uh, or just make your own. I don't know enough briskets to uh, to you know melt up the fat and go through it, but. This is the easiest way for me to, to try it. Yeah, this is such a great cook. You guys try it, let me know. Comments below, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.